All right. So hello, YouTube. It is Friday in the city of Irvine. And uh, today we're going to ride over to uh, the Tustin uh, Metrolink station. So we're going to get a little old school right now. So I do have a lot of videos of me uh, right here on Michelson taking the uh, taking the uh, uh, Taking Michelson all the way to the uh, the canal. We'll just call it the canal, and uh, which is cool. But uh, I'm gonna just, you know, for the sake of uh, just doing something different, I'm gonna take a little bit different of a route. We're gonna ultimately end up on the canal, no matter what. But uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, Long Carmen to Maine to a street called uh, Kelvin and then um, a street called Murphy and then Murphy to Barranca and then uh, Barranca to uh, to the canal and the canal to Edinger. So that's that's the route we're going to take. Um, and then uh, the last Metrolink leaves at, uh, or not the last one, the next one. So it's about 4.35 right now. The next one leaves at uh, 5.08. And I'm about ready to jump across this intersection because um, it says it's going to take me 30 minutes to get there. So I'm like... Um, I'm worried I'm not going to get there on time, so this waiting in tr for lights is uh, a little bit annoying here. So we're going to jump out into the street, and we're going to go. Alright. So the good thing is I can ride, probably ride in pedal assist five the whole way to the Metrolink because I don't know how many miles it is. I think it's uh, five and a half. So if I, you know, if I use a lot of battery, it's fine because from, from, uh, From Orange to home is only uh, two and a half miles. This is the uh, this is the life that everybody got got uh, got in the comments about me uh, going through the uh, red light. It's actually. Uh, it's actually a parking lot, which nobody really knew that, but. So yeah, there's still a lot of Irvine that uh, I don't really have a lot of footage, uh, or hardly any. Be honest with you i haven't really rode in irvine very much except for michelson so we're on main street now going the opposite way of uh, the way we usually go so i'll give you an idea of what uh, irvine looks like so this is it this is what irvine looks like there's nothing uh This is, this is Irvine, it's, uh, it all looks exactly like this. There's no, there's no difference.
So you're gonna have uh, corporate buildings and then uh, apartment complexes, condos blended in with little strip malls like that. Um, up here is gonna be a, uh, a grocery store. So now the question is, we gotta get on Jamboree, which Jamboree is, is a gnarly street. Do we go ahead and get in the turning lane? Yeah, I think we do. So yeah, Jamboree is uh, a major, a major road, if not the most major road in Irvine. But, uh, This is uh, uncharted territory for me. So the canal is just up there, like, uh, you know, probably uh, a quarter of a mile, you know? Oh, yeah. Lots of rocks. Here's Kelvin. All right. So this is what it, this is if you lived in Irvine, this is what what it would look like where you'd be living in. It's not there is houses in Irvine, like regular houses, but those are on towards the east side of uh, the city. That way. All right, so this is Murphy, and we're gonna take this to Barranca. I would say Barranca is another major uh, street in Irvine. This is Alton. So the canal's right there. We could jump on it right now if we wanted to, but let's go ahead and go up to Barranca. I guess we take this little jog here. Regardless if I'm on the right streets or not, I know we're going in the right direction, but I think it's pretty easy to get trapped in some of these, uh, in this labyrinth of, uh, that we call Irvine. A lot of money. Basically, Irvine is a huge uh, game board. A massive game board of uh, corporations. And this is called Corporate Park, this area. So, go figure. 
All right, so we're to Barranca. So I'm not too sure which side I get on the, uh, get to the canal on, but I'm assuming it's going to be right past the canal on this side. Here we are. So this should look pretty familiar. Uh, I used to actually take this route a lot when I first started riding. Well, not a lot. But when I first started riding, I took it uh, several times, I should say. I guess I should make sure I'm filming. Am I filming? I may not even be filming. That would suck. Oh yeah, we're filming. Okay, cool. It's all right, we could have just captured the uh, train ride. So how this differs from a normal Friday, besides the route, is that um, Everybody at home is, uh, they were hungry already. So they, they uh, usually wait for me to eat, but they're all eating right now. So we'll go a little closer to the, the canal and see all the awesome birds that my camera probably won't pick up because they're too far away. I think it's kind of cool how you can go so close to the water. We'll go ahead and conserve our energy. So uh, sometimes the uh, Metrolink has issues. So if it's running late, uh, then uh, yeah, we won't take it. And if we don't take it, I'm gonna need that battery power. We're doing good. We're doing 26 and pedal assist three with no effort. 27 now. I like this bridge. I don't even know what street that is. Feel that suspension, buddy. front end on this bike feels like it's going to fall apart. All right, so we can get up on the, uh, we can stay up here on the streets, I think right here. Or we can go under and stay to the right. Let's go. I've never gone this way. Let's go this way. I don't know how it's going to work out. Hopefully there's a place to cross 
on this side of the street. It's kind of an in intimidating uh, area right here. So this is a Jamboree exit. So after Barranca, Jamboree turns into basically a freeway. You know? I don't know how. Wait. wait. We're gonna get across this. Wait, wait, wait. So we're the way we're gonna get across is we're gonna wait. we're gonna go with the cars. That's how we're gonna get across. time it's uh, only been 16 minutes so maybe we'll get lucky and a train will be uh, have been running late definitely uh, edit this out of the video. So this is a this is kind of an example of why I another reason that supports me um, just riding the whole route on my bike rather than just biking the Metrolink because because uh, you have to wait for the train sometimes you know depending on what time you get off work. So you, like right now, for instance, it's, um, let's see what time it is. So it's 4.50, so we have to wait 18 minutes to, uh, to get the train, you know? So we'll, uh, So we've been filming for 20 minutes. So, so we need to go to the other side. And the way we go to the other side is through here. for pedestrians. I'm 
not very many people here at all, but what'll happen is you're gonna get a bunch of people getting dropped off in buses and then the bus, so this place will be be packed out by the time by the time we catch the the train. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and walk over to this uh, this screen over here, and uh, see if we have any unfavorable uh, train conditions. Not to uh, be morbid, but uh, you'd be surprised at how often people unalive themselves on these tracks. Okay, so. If we were really crazy, we could go to L.A. Again, ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to Los Angeles, you're waiting for the next train, train 689. It'll be here in about 15 minutes. Once again, ladies and gentlemen. Cool, thanks, man. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Metrolink 810. Five stop downtown San Bernardino. Our next station stop will be Santa Ana. Santa Ana is next. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please stand clear. Doors closing.
through the train to the door. Santa Ana is our next stop. Seven minutes so far, so if we would have arrived at, uh, if we would have arrived at 4 or 5:08, we could minus uh, what 15 minutes, so it'd be like 42 minutes. city of orange whoa look at that car let's go look at this car real quick oh what is that I have no idea Bel Air So 
this little spot right here is a brewery, Chapman University Brewery. Coffee and beer. It's like a pretty, uh, pretty fun place, I guess, if you're into beer. So let's, um, what way have we not gone before in Orange? I guess let's go this way. So this place right here, uh, Taco Adobe is very sad. So this used to be our favorite Mexican restaurant right here. And it burned down a few years ago and they were never able to get back rolling again. And then this is the back of, uh, I think this is Paul's Cocktails right here. This is where all the, uh, all the drama goes down on the weekends, I'm sure. We're in sidewalk mode. Uh, this is Lemon Street, I believe, is what it's called. So I guess, I mean, I guess that's a, uh, taking the train's not so bad because uh, if you time it right. So I think I made the, uh, the first part of the ride in, uh, what was it, 15 minutes? So if I do 15 minutes and then uh, catch the train right on time, let's say I have to wait five minutes then uh, the train ride is 12 minutes. So that puts us at close to 30 minutes and then a 10 minute ride home. It'd be relatively fast, but it would be impossible to beat my best time, which is like 34, I think around 34 minutes. But this isn't ever, uh, a race to me, you know, to see how fast I can make the trip, you know. It's just about experiencing, you know, different things, so. So maybe in the future we'll, uh, we can, uh, you know, overshoot. So maybe next week I'll overshoot. Tuss, I'll get on the train at 5.40 overshoot uh, test and Metrolink and go to Irvine. And the Irvine Metrolink is very far out of the way of, uh, of uh, oh man, of um, where we have to go. So that'll be actually probably a seven mile ride from Irvine, uh, Irvine Metrolink to, to work. So I can do that. We can also overshoot at, uh, 
on the way home to Anaheim, which is what I was going to do today, but I didn't get out of work in time. And yeah, how much further? What's the next stop? We could do Fullerton too. Um, so this is our beautiful library. Very, uh, so this is Orange Library and it's a historical, uh, uh, has a historical library too, so it's kind of cool. Anyway, we're just going to get home. Um, we've got In-N-Out Burger waiting for me, so that uh, Double Double should be nice and nice and soggy by now animal style so I'll get home and uh, have me a nice giant Pepsi and uh, an in and out burger they might have even left me some french fries So the smallest of these homes here in this, you know, the historic downtown uh, area of Orange are probably a million dollars. These are all million dollar homes, I'm sure. Oh, I got a little house for rent here. All right, we're on Sycamore. We need to get over to uh, Walnut Avenue. Anyway, so uh, I had a lot of energy when I left work. You know, I was kind of excited about doing the train and then yes, uh, waiting for the train and then riding on the train kind of uh, slowed me down a little bit. So so we're just not going to, I'm just going to not really talk too much and finish up the ride. And uh, that's it. Try to figure out what to do this weekend. Oregon, are they turning? Tell me to go. He gave me the go. Thank you. Ah, the weather's nice. Definitely feels like fall. I think I'd be self-conscious about parking in a bike lane. All right, hopefully we get this green light.
be close enough. Maybe not. There we go. Here we go. I have lots of battery left on my bike. Yeah, I'll get this video edited and see if I can get it out uh, tonight. Um, we'll see. I got a pretty cool video from yesterday as well. I mean, it's a normal route. It's just Main Street, but um, I just rode on the sidewalk on the opposite side of the street. And I like the way uh, I like the way that it turned out. Um, give you a little glimpse, a little closer glimpse into some of the street activities in downtown you know i don't i don't try to focus a lot on the the homeless thing and I, I you know i might in the future but um yeah it's kind of interesting anyway we'll catch you on the next video and i really appreciate uh your comments and likes and watching my videos and if you've subscribed you know that's totally that's awesome and uh, we're gonna keep going up slowly but surely. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, you know, hopefully I keep you guys entertained so you stick with me. Catch you on the next one.